So let's we proceed towards as a third stage of a river. Lower courts. Lower courts. Lower courts. Lower course of a river. Lower course or mouth of a river. Mouth of river. Where it falls in a larger water body. It may be a sea, ocean, bay or gulf. When river water falls in a larger water body, that place is known as a mouth of a river or old stage. Old stage. So mouth of a river, old stage of a river, old stage of a river. The basic characteristics are river reaches at the mean sea level. Mean sea level. Mean sea level. Negligible gradient, slope of a region has experience, level towards the sea level. Second, large volume of water, volume of water, volume of water, of water. Third, enormous amount of amount of amount of final fine sediments are present in fine sediments are present in river water river water river water Broader river valley, broader river valley carved a at its mouth. Broader river valley developed at its mouth. Broader river valley, broader river valley developed at the mouth of a river. At mouth of river. Mouth of river. This region is rich in a wetlands, marshy lands. These regions, these regions, the mouth of a river, which has consisting the saline water, known as the marshy lands, wetlands, marshy lands or wetlands. Clear? Now the landforms which are developed at the lower course of a river. Lower courts of a river are first delta. Delta is a triangular piece of land. Delta is a triangular piece of land. Delta is a triangular piece of land formed by the river at its mouth at its mouth at its mouth when river can't carry river can't carry heavy loads of sediments heavy loads of sediments, heavy loads of sediments towards sea or ocean, towards sea or ocean, sea or ocean 
it start to deposit it start to deposit it start to deposit sediments at its course sediments at its course is known as delta deltas are rich in alluvial soils alluvial soils brought by river brought by river through erosional work through erosional work brought by river through erosional work second distributaries 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 are smaller streams of water distributaries are distributaries are smaller streams of river smaller streams of river sorry smaller streams of river develop from main river at its mouth when river reaches at its mouth it divided among the smaller streams it divided among smaller streams are known as distributaries are known as distributaries known as distributaries hugli is the distributary of hugli is the distributary of ganga hugli is the distributary of ganga sundarbans are known for the delta sundarbans in bangladesh and west bengal in bangladesh and west bengal is an example of a delta clear third land form as estuaries estuaries third land form estuaries estuaries many rivers many rivers which are not form deltas which do not form deltas example of delta sundarbans in bangladesh and west bengal distributaries their example hugli h u g l i hugli distributary of ganga distributary of ganga hugli distributary of ganga first up next estuaries some of the rivers which do not form deltas do not form deltas especially along rocky surfaces rocky surfaces when they fall through the rocky surfaces instead they have a narrow a narrow gradually widening bay widening bay at the mouth at the mouth cutting deep inland deep inland such kind of the water outlets such kind of water outlets are funnel in shape are funnel in shape through which river water river water falls in sea or ocean falls in sea or ocean 
See our ocean is known as estuary. I'm again repeating as estuary. Estuary is generally developed in a rocky coast, rocky surfaces, rocky surfaces. Instead, they have a narrow, gradually widening bay at the mouth, cutting deep inland, which is funnel in shape, funnel in shape, which is funnel in shape through which river falls in larger water body, river falls in larger water body is known as estuary, is known as estuary, E-S-T-U-A-R-Y, estuary, it is known as estuary, example, example, Narmada and Tapi rivers, Narmada and Tapi rivers, Narmada and Tapi rivers, they falls in Arabian Sea through estuaries. They falls in uh, Arabian Sea through estuaries. Tell there any questions? Both of these rivers, Narmada and Tapi, falls in Arabian Sea through estuaries. Through Estuaries. Any questions? Next. If anybody having any question, they can ask. Fourth, levees. 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 Fourth landform carved at the mouth of a river as levees. Levees are resulted, resulted by older river, older river through active de deposition. Active deposition takes place, active deposition takes place along banks of an older river, banks of an older river during floods, during floods, during floods due to regular deposition, due to regular deposition regular deposition deposition regular deposition through regular deposition, the land, the land or a bank, land or bank, which is arises, this is as a part of the levy, part of levy, which is rises due to the regular deposition every year, Deposition every year, deposition every year. This is at the valley. These are the banks which are, in cases they are high to the regular deposition of a regular deposition of sediments during the floods. During the floods, such rises portion, rises part of such rises part of a river bank is known as levees. They are known as the levees. They are known as the levees. 
एग्जाम्पल 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 हल्दिया एच ए एल डी आई ए एच ए एल डी आई ए एच ए एल डी आई ए हल्दिया इन वेस्ट बेंगाल एच ए एल डी आई ए इन वेस्ट बेंगाल वेस्ट बेंगाल सिचुएटेड ऑन अ सिचुएटेड ऑन अ बैंक्स ऑफ अ हुगली रिवर बैंक्स ऑफ हुगली रिवर बैंक्स ऑफ हुगली रिवर फुल स्टॉप एनी क्वेश्चन banks of hugli river next is a river systems river systems river systems river systems river system refers to river system refers to river system refers to the origin and development of origin and development of stream through stream through a longer passage of time longer passage of time when river when river and its tributaries river and its tributaries its tributaries change their course change their course as per geology of a region geology of a region is known as drainage system there are the two river system the drainage system are there the himalayan river system himalayan river system himalayan river system and the peninsular river system peninsula river system peninsula river system himalayan river systems divided into three parts indus river system indus river system ganga river system and brahmaputra river system brahmaputra river system brahmaputra river system next peninsular river system again divided into two parts westward flowing rivers westward flowing rivers westward flowing rivers which includes narmada tapi mahi sabarmati sabarmati and luni and luni in the other side each one flowing rivers are eastward flowing rivers are kaveri krishna godavari and mahanadi mahanadi so these rivers their description their origin it will be as a discuss in this part of a river systems part of a river system 
this part of a reverse system. Get it? River system. We will cover as the these number of rivers, which are categorized broadly into the two river systems, Himalayan river system and peninsular river system. Himalayan river system and peninsular river system. Peninsular river system. The Himalayan rivers, they are the perennial in nature. Perennial in nature. Himalayan rivers, they are perennial in nature. Perennial in nature. Perennial in nature, which are filled with water throughout the year. Filled with water throughout the year. Throughout the year. These are the those rivers which are the glaciated origin. Glaciated origin. Himalayan rivers are having the glaciated origin. Snow melted from the glaciers, from glaciers of a higher altitudes of Himalayas are the source of a water for rivers. Source of water for rivers. Himalayan rivers at its Youthful stage carved the narrower valleys and mature stage as more broader valleys. They are at a broader valleys. They are having as the broader valleys. In a passage of time, Himalayan rivers change their course. Himalayan rivers, they change their course. Himalayan rivers change their course in a passage of time. Passage of time, they change their course. One best example as a Satluj, which is the oldest river of India. Oldest river of India, which change their course when Middle Himalayas, Middle Himalayas uplifted. Earlier, the course of a Satluj, it was from as the existing, the present Uttarakhand, present Uttarakhand, but through the passage of time, it changed their course. Now, Satluj enters in India through the Himachal Pradesh, Lahul Spiti district of a Himachal Pradesh. Lahul Spiti district of Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh. Such changes in a course of a river are the result of a divergent and a convergent movements which leads to the development of a new landforms, growth of newer landforms, clear? So the first is the Indus river system. Indus river system. First is now as the Indus river system. This system, this river system comprises, this river system comprises Indus, Indus River and its various tributaries, various tributaries, various tributaries, the tributaries of Indus in Punjab are, when we are comparing as a complete of a Punjab of a Pakistan and India, that Punjab term derived from the Derived with the combination of two words, sponge means five arts water, a land formed by the five waters, five rivers. Punjab, Bias, Satluj, Ravi, Chenab, and Jhelum. Chenab and Jhelum, which collectively forms as the land of Punjab, from which, from these rivers, as two and a half rivers are present in a Punjab, existing Punjab, one is Pyas, second is a Satluj, third is a Ravi. Ravi makes as the Indo Pak border, Indo Pak border, Ravi makes the 
इंडो पाक बॉर्डर इंडो पाक बॉर्डर इन गुरदासपुर इन गुरदासपुर ऑफ इन गुरदासपुर ऑफ इन गुरदासपुर ऑफ पंजाब ऑफ पंजाब सो फर्स्ट द इंडस इंडस ओरिजिनेट्स इंडस ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम मानसरोवर इंडस ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम मानसरोवर लीक सिचुएटेड ऑन अ कैलाश रेंजेस ऑन कैलाश रेंजेस through which it enters it starts to flow towards the northwest indus starts to flow towards the northwest northwest and enters in india enters in india through jammu and kashmir through jammu and kashmir this river this river this river makes the spectacular gorge gorge at kailash range at kailash range through which it originates it originates it originates in this part of a jammu and kashmir indus joined by indus joined by the tributaries of a indus in a jnk in j and k tributaries of indus in j and k are jaskar shyok hunza nubra hunza and nubra are the tributaries of indus in jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir of its karakoram range karakoram range karakoram range he forms as a spectacular gorge in a kailash range afterwards it joined by the tributaries shyok nubra jaskar and hunza and hunza it flows through the ladakh baltistan and gilgit it flows through the ladakh baltistan ladakh baltistan and gilgit g i l g i l g i t and finally finally enters in pakistan through atok it finally enters in pakistan at to the place of a atok where it makes the gorge atok it makes the gorge here the indus is joined by the kabul river indus joined by kabul river indus joined by kabul river from afghanistan and the indus flows towards the southwest across pakistan to reach across pakistan to reach the arabian sea arabian sea arabian sea east of karachi east of karachi east of karachi finally reaching at a arabian sea east of karachi indus joined by their joined by their tributaries their tributaries byas satluj ravi chinab jhelum at at mithankot of pakistan 
एम आई टी एच ए एन के ओ टी मिठान कोट ऑफ पाकिस्तान मिठान कोट ऑफ पाकिस्तान टोटल लेंथ ऑफ इंडस इज ट्वेंटी नाइन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स लॉन्ग ट्वेंटी नाइन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स लॉन्ग ट्वेंटी नाइन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स लॉन्ग which is considered the one of the largest rivers of world largest rivers of world largest rivers of world those lands which are lies which are lies which are lies in a parts of a punjab in between of their tributaries are known as the dwabs d o a b d o means two ab are the waters land between the two rivers are dwabs which is popularly known as a dwaba dwab or dwaba ab jalandhar jalandhar is a part of a bya bari dwab which has lies in between of bias and sorry jalandhar is la lies in a bist dwab b i s t Bias and Satluj River. Bias and Satluj River. B I Bias S T Satluj. In between the areas, the districts of a Punjab, which are lies in a Bist Dwab, are Pathan Court, Husharpur, Jalanda, Pathan Court, Husharpur, Jalanda, Kapoorthala, Pathan Court, Husharpur. Jalanda, Kapoorthala, Kapoorthala, Nama Shahar, Nama Shahar. These areas, the districts of our modern Punjab, are lies in a Bist Dwab. Above of the Bist is the Bari Dwab. Bari, that Dwab which lies in between of B I Bias, R I Ravi. In between of these two are Godaspur. अमृतसर तरन तारण गुरदासपुर अमृतसर तरन तारण बटाला इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ अ पार्ट ऑफ अ बिस्ट दुआब गुरदासपुर तरन तारण अमृतसर 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 लाइस इन अ बारी दुआब आफ्टरवर्ड्स रेस्ट ऑफ द थ्री दुआब रचना दुआब लाइस इन बिटवीन ऑफ रावी एंड चिनाब Ravi and Chenab. It is the part of a Punjab lies in a Pakistan. Next, as a Chaj Dwab, C H A J C H Chenab, J Jhelum. It is also constitutes in a parts of a Pakistan. Clear? So this was as related with the Bias River. Any questions? Tomorrow we will continue as the Ganga River system. Ganga River system. Any questions? Ganga River system.